morning guys my name is Kendra Wilson today I am bringing you a video of a starch solution meal prep video did that make sense uh, so I've just been to the market and grabbed a heap of vegetables that I knew I would use throughout the week and we're just going to prep them got some basil that I'll be making some pesto with got some coriander because I just absolutely love coriander Two big heads of brock, two huge punnets of strawberries, a butternut pumpkin, I've got a big bunch of celery, a little tiny bag of ginger because ginger is so expensive at the moment. This little bag cost me two dollars. Far out. Big bag of zucchinis that I'm just going to spiralize because, you know. You gotta make it fancy for the kids and things like that. So they'll eat veggies. I got two beets as well that I think I'll spiralize um, and have in the same dish, like a pasta-ish dish. A ginormous bag of a little sweet potatoes. No, don't mind the plastic. It was fill bag for $2.50, so I had to use their bags. I'm gonna wash these, prick them all over with the fork, leave the skin on and roast them. And that's it. So I'm just going to begin by washing everything. So I've popped the sweet potatoes on a roasting tray and just taken off any yucky bits and things like that. Um, and now I'm just going to pop some salt and pepper on there. So I've decided to just use half of the sweet potatoes to roast and then the other half I'm going to actually boil and mash. Next up is the pumpkin, minus the strawberry on it. <laughs> Peel the pumpkin and I'm going to make a roasted pumpkin soup out of that one. So a little trick that I like to use when I'm baking or roasting without any oil is to actually use a spray bottle and just spray the veg with water or you can just pour some water over the top as well. And so salt and pepper that one as well. And that just needs to pop in the oven with the sweet potato. Okay, next up, I am just going to cut and wash my celery. So I've got this container that is a Tupperware celery storer. And I think its purpose is to prevent the celery from going moldy. Anyway, it's just got this like lift out bit here and all the water pulls at the bottom and things like that. So I just grab my celery. and kind of try to cut it so it fits into the container lengthways. I keep the leaves for my celery um, because I find they're really tasty as well and they're easy to hide in anything. There we are. Nice and neat in the little celery store. So just chuck it in the fridge. So I'm also gonna do the same for my broccoli. I'm just going to cut it up into florets and pop it in the fridge. I'll show you actually the little container that I keep it in the fridge. So I just got a big container and then um, I just wet a cloth, it's just a microfiber dishcloth, um, to put underneath and then lay the florets on top and that kind of keeps it fresher I think. I don't know, I saw someone else doing it on YouTube and so I thought, you know, why not try it? Same thing. Don't forget your stalks, just trim them up as well. Um, sometimes you might want to take like the bottom woody parts off. Um, but that's still got some really good fibre in it and nutrients as well. Okay, so there's all my broccoli ready for the fridge as well. I just find it's easier to do this now 
And then during the week, like when we have work, we're just busy and things, just to grab pre-made veggies out. So I'm just gonna trim and halve my strawberries. So I've been doing that since um, that whole debacle with needles being found in strawberries. Just got my strawberries in there. My kids will devour them in about two seconds. Five. No. Mm. Oh, no one. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Next up are the zucchinis. Now I'm going to spiralize those. I haven't used my spiralizer in about two years, admittedly. Um, so I have to find it. So after our guinea pig died, we invested in a tumble composter because we had no one to give all our food scraps to. So we have been composting and slowly making some soil to put back in our veggie patch, which we're super excited about. So here is three spiralized zucchinis. I did the same method with the um, wet cloth underneath. Um, I didn't cut up the fourth Zucchini, what have I got in my hair? Oh my god, is that celery? Has that been there the whole time? <sighs> I just um, used three and I'll keep the fourth one to put into our meals. Okay, so the sweet potatoes and pumpkin are done. They look like big slugs on there. I'm going to chuck them in a clear container because if I put it in a covered one, I'll forget that they're actually in there and I won't remember to eat them. And the pumpkin is going to go into a soup. So I'm going to actually, yeah, I'll just leave it in the oven for a moment. Deal with him in a minute. So I'm going to make pesto with the basil. I'm not going to use pine nuts because I don't like them for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I've been scarred and they just taste like poop to me, really. So I thought that maybe I'll use cashews or almonds. Hmm, don't know yet. I have to look up a vegan recipe because obviously you can't use parmesan. I'm guessing that I'll substitute nutritional yeast for that anyway i will leave what i use in the description box below um but god damn this smells so good i can't wait to eat it so i found a recipe from minimalist baker and they use walnuts basil garlic nutritional yeast salt and lemon juice and then i'm going to pulse that and add water instead of um, olive oil to make it a fat-free version. So I didn't even have to add any water. Um, the basil must have had so much water on it still because I washed it and it seems to be all fine. This smells so divine. I cannot wait to put it on my pasta. I hope the kids like it. Looks good though. So I'm going to make a quick cheese sauce that I make generally every week and it's from Plantiful Kiki. I will pop the link in the description box below but basically all you need is um, potatoes, carrot, a bunch of spices, some nutritional yeast and lemon juice. It's really really easy and it's super tasty and you just chuck it on your vegetables and it makes your vegetables so so tasty worth it guys give it a bash 
G sauce is all ready to go. I didn't bother even cleaning the pesto out of it. Because, you know, a bit of extra flavor flav wouldn't help. So, as I said before, this is the um, recipe from Planner for Kiki. The only thing I do tweak is that I put some turmeric in it. It gives it a nice, really yellowy um, color and some pepper because I have read that Dr. Gregor says that pepper actually increases the nutritional value of turmeric. So that's always really fantastic as well. And yes, I do try to use my Thermomix as often as possible to justify the price, even though I did buy this secondhand. Still, my husband threatens to sell it on me if I don't use it enough. <laughs> Here are the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Got lots and lots of veggies ready to eat for the rest of the week. Cut up the strawberries for the kids so they can just get it without asking me. That sludgy stuff there is actually my pumpkin soup. I kind of just made up the recipe. I used all the pumpkin and a couple of the sweet potatoes. Put some cumin in it, some curry powder and um, chicken stock. And I'm just going to serve that with the coriander. And there's my basil pesto and cheese sauce. Pretty happy with the outcome. And it looks really nice in my fridge, all ready to go. <coughs> that ever since that needle scare. Sorry, Alex. It's the hardest job to do. I can get up and do it now. Yeah. But I'm not going to. La, la, la massive head of cauliflower oh my god 